So, what I want to highlight for us is the important lengths that we can use here to work out what's going on, okay? So for starters, I want you to look over here at the first object we measured. I'm going to put a length like that. Can you see that? Can you make it out on the screen? No, I can't. Oh, hold on. That's not helpful. <laughs> can you see that? The red? Okay. Actually, maybe I'll do it in white. Maybe white will be easier for you. How about that? Yeah, Can you see that? Yeah, okay. So that length, I think we measured as what? 10 centimeters, yeah. something like that. So I'm just going to make myself a space to write on here. I'll give you a heading in a second. Though in some senses, it's still part of the same thing. Okay. Uh, so you've got that 10 centimeters there. But then the next thing we measured was the shadow, right? So it's coming off like this. And um, what was that? Was that 12? 12, right? Yep. Okay, so see the lines, the actual stuff that I'm drawing on, that's the part that's most important to you. Okay, so I've got that, and if you connect these together, they make a triangle. We don't need the whole triangle there, but we are comparing shapes after all. So if you wanted, you could use Pythagoras to work out how long that is, but you don't need to. Okay, right, so you can draw out a triangle just like that with, a two, with the two measurements on there, 10 and 12. Then you want to come over here and say, okay, I have a new triangle here. I've got this length, which I don't know. Right? We didn't actually go and measure that. I know physically we can, but maybe in some situations we can't. You got that length up there, and then you've got this other length that we... Actually, you said you measured the, the far one, right? Far one over there? Oh, no, it was the... Uh, that one? Which one? Okay, I'll put it back. Okay, so I'm going to make my triangle over here. Okay, what was 14? The 12? I don't think so. It's 12. Yeah, it's 12. Yeah, that's right. You, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so you can see uh, we have, I think, Holly, you said it was 37, didn't you? Yeah, 37. No, and here's the wonderful thing, right? We're imagining a situation where this other side, and we're talking about, you mean... Um, you mean this one, right? Like this one over here? Yeah? No? Which one are you talking about? Oh, you mean that one in the air? This one? Which other side do you mean? Oh, right! Well, that's what I thought in the first place, but... It doesn't matter all too much. They should be pretty close to each other. Okay. It's okay. It's all right. Don't get hung up on the details. Okay. So this height over here, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to call it H. Alright, so you can see what I've established here is a pair of similar triangles. Now they have to be similar to each other because what's happening is you've got the source of light coming from the same direction. Right? Do you see that? Maybe I should put this in red. Okay. So you have got those diagrams there. So you've got, you don't have the photo in the way. So you don't need to do this next thing I'm about to do. I'm going to take all of this stuff here and that's the important, oops. That's the important part that I can actually do some maths with, right? So uh, down here. It's gonna be wide. Yeah, it's okay. I got that covered. Whoa. Done. There we go. Whoa. I've got to get rid of that and that and that and that. Done. Okay. So now, now you can see this is just like one of the questions we did before. Yeah. Let's think about it. I told you four steps. Four steps. What's the first one? I know because we're looking at them at an angle, but that's fine. That's okay. Right. What's the first step? Before that, before the corresponding, that's the second one. Okay, what do I want to know? And that's the H over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some space over here, is I'm going to write that pronumeral I'm after. Okay, then what happens next? I. Okay, the side, that, the length that corresponds to that H is this 10, right? Now I can do, I could have started with this one and then done um, yeah. 10 over H, but do you see, because what I want is H, I need H on the top eventually, so I might as well just write on the top the first time, and as you'll see, there'll only be one thing I have to do if I write the, in this order, okay? So I've got the length I want, the length it corresponds to, step three. I've got, you can see my arrow, right? I've got the other pair this pair of lengths and that gives me this relationship yeah so 37 over 12 okay 
So can someone tell me what 370 over 12 actually comes out to? Can I get one decimal place? Why is one, why is it, why is it I multiplied across by 10. Oh. Yep. Yep. Can someone, can someone give me a, Cameron? 30.8. Okay. Now, interestingly, I'm pretty sure all of us know that's not 30.8 right? It's not 30.8. Now, part of the reason why is we, we had a discussion about, and we just kind of glossed over because we wanted to do it quickly for sake of time. Where do you measure that shadow? Is that accurate? One of the tricky things, if I come back to the original photo, right? Where is that shadow ending? It's actually not necessarily that clear. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what it does when light is coming from multiple sources, not just from one. Okay. But as a proof of concept, this is the whole idea, right? Uh, and this is what this next part of the exercise is about, about applying it to actual situations like this, where you can measure things that can't be measured, like climbing up some stupid insane tower, right? It's like, well, you just need to know about its shadow, and that's really easy to measure, okay? Yeah.